Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mary Ann and it is still winter here in New Jersey but uh, very soon it will be spring and I can feel it's coming because the weather right now is 55 degree Fahrenheit. So it's getting warmer and I'm very excited to start my vegetable seeds outside very soon but today so i'm going to make cinnamon rolls with a cup of mashed potatoes the mashed potatoes will make the cinnamon rolls very soft and tender so let's start all right everyone i have here one cup of warm milk in this bowl and make sure your milk is not too hot nor too cold it should be around 110 to 115 and then into that milk you're going to add one package of um, yeast or two and a quarter of yeast so you're going to add there and then you're going to mix this and let it set for five minutes you want your you want to activate your yeast for five minutes so let's see you in five minutes all right everyone after five minutes my yeast is activated you can see if it's, if your yeast is good by uh, it should have bubbles on top of your milk and then you can smell the yeast there's an aroma that will uh, emit if your yeast is activated and now in that we're going to add our egg yolks some salt and sugar and melted butter so let's start I have here one third cup of melted butter and then a teaspoon of salt and then half a cup of sugar and then we're going to mix that And then we're going to add our two large egg yolks. I like to use egg yolks because it will create a rich dough. And let's mix this. And then we're going to add our one cup of mashed potatoes hey everybody slow down this will make your uh, rolls very soft that's a secret And then let's add our flour. This is around four and a half cups of flour. If you need more flour, you can add more, a tablespoon at a time. So 
this mix of this. We are going to knead the dough for 10 minutes at medium speed in the stand mixer. So let's do it. Now here's our dough after kneading for 10 minutes. Remember I used the stand mixer to knead at medium speed for 10 minutes and here it is very nice though soft and not sticky it doesn't stick in my hands and now we're going to put this in a bowl make sure your bowl is being brushed with oil so that the dough will not stick into the bowl as the dough rises so let's do it here's my bowl and I have oil in there and going to brush this here we go, Lizzie. Go ahead. I have a helper here. All, all around. All right, thank you. You brush here. On it? On the top of my dough. Okay. Okay, lift that. Okay, brush the top of the dough. So that the dough will not get dry on top. On top. over make sure in this ID all right that's good enough put the brush here put the brush here no <laughs> and then you're going to cover this with plastic wrap Then we are going to put this in the, in a warm place and let it rise for, uh, I'm not sure, maybe one, between one to two hours until the dough uh, double in size. So you have to make sure you put this in the warmest part of your house. And in this house, the warmest part right now is the oven. So let's put this in the oven. My oven is off, but it's warm inside. All right, everyone, the dough is already risen after one and uh, one hour and 30 minutes for me in my warm oven. Now the dough is double in size already. So I'll show it to you. So it really depends on how warm is your place where you put your dough. If it's Cold, then it takes a while more than two hours to double the size so this is it and then you are going to put the dough into this uh, piece of wood here the uh, cutting board so I can flatten the dough spread the dough out so let's spread the dough with this rolling pin I put oil in my cutting board so that the dough will not stick. And here's my dough now. I already flattened it. Actually, the size of this dough is around. I measured it with this <laughs> ruler. Uh, 22 inches by 14 inches so because I have a lot of dough here and I like my dough all of the bit uh, you know when I cut them I wanted smaller pieces because the last time I made my cinnamon rolls was so big <laughs> so huge each piece of them so this time I'm going to slice it into smaller pieces now we have to 
half a cup of uh, softened butter. We are going to spread it all the way in our dough. So let's do it. Now I'm done spreading the butter on top of our dough. Next is, this is a mixture of one cup packed brown sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon and mix them together and we're going to put this on top of this butter. Spread it evenly as much as you can. Now you, you have to leave at least one inch at this, um, all around. When you're done. And every time I make cinnamon rolls, my daughters can tell the difference if I add uh, uh, mashed potatoes or not. They can tell the texture of the rolls. <laughs> because the last time I made two weeks ago, I didn't add mashed potatoes. And then my older daughter said, Mommy, I don't think you add mashed potatoes. I said, I did not. They can tell the difference. So we are going to roll this dough. So I already rolled the dough. It's already a large shape now. And then I'm going to cut this dough using a sharp knife. I brush a knife with oil so that the dough will not stick into my knife when I cut it. And then I'm going to cut this dough one inch because I like it smaller pieces of cinnamon rolls. Then I have here a buttered dish so I can put the cinnamon pieces here to let it rise again the second time. I think I have 23 pieces here of rolls so I'm <laughs> I wasn't able to cut into 24. So 23 pieces only. So you're going to space them, you know, evenly as much as you can. And now I have it here. I have 12 rolls here in this dish. I'm going to put the rest here. Oh well, <laughs> I thought I have 23 pieces, but no, I have only 20 pieces. So 12 in this dish and then 8 here. And now we are going to let this rise again a second time. Uh, one dish I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to bake it for the, you know, two days from now maybe, to retire the rising. And then, next, this dish, I'm going to bake this letter later, so I'm going to let this rise inside my warm oven. And you can make this ahead of time. For the second time to rise, instead of letting it rise the second time, you put the rolls in the refrigerator and then before you bake it you put it out you put them you put the rolls in the counter for 
maybe two hours to let it rise and then you bake it that's how you do it if you do it you know ahead of time just refrigerate the dough instead of letting it rise the second time so one will go into the refrigerator and one will go inside the oven to rise these rolls the second time so see ya. oh well <laughs> i thought i have 23 pieces but no i have only 20 pieces so 12 in this dish and then eight here and now we are going to let this rise again the second time uh, one dish i'm going to put this in the refrigerator to bake it for the you know two days from now maybe to retire the rising and then next this dish i'm going to bake this letter later so i'm going to let this rise inside my warm oven and you can make this ahead of time for the second time to rise instead of letting it rise the second time you put the rolls in the refrigerator and then before you bake it you put it out you put them you put the rolls in the counter for maybe two hours to let it rise and then you bake it that's how you do it if you do it you know ahead of time just refrigerate the dough instead of letting it rise the second time so one will go into the refrigerator and one will go inside the oven to rise these rolls the second time so see you And make sure you cover your uh, cinnamon rolls with plastic so that it will not dry dry out I mean. after one hour the rolls has doubled its size and now this is ready for baking we are going to set the oven 375 degree Fahrenheit and we will bake this between 20 to 25 minutes so let's the oven is ready it's already set to 375 degree fahrenheit so let's put this in the oven and bake later while the cinnamon rolls is baking let's make the frost first you need four ounces of a cream cheese make sure it is softened and the next is softened butter half no this is four tablespoons or half of the half a stick of butter four tablespoons and the next is one and a half cups of powdered sugar now we are going to mix this first make you need some liquid in there because it's so dry right now so you need some milk I'm not sure how much maybe three three tablespoons or two tablespoons let's see it depends on the consistency that you want So our 
frosting is ready. It's all well, mix, well mixed and I only add two tablespoons of milk. So probably if you add three tablespoons, it might be too runny. So two tablespoons is perfect. That's it. The cinnamon rolls is just finished baking. So let's take it out from the oven. Now I just bake this cinnamon rolls for 20 minutes and now we have to let this cool down for 10 minutes before frosting. So see you later! Now it's time to frost the cinnamon rolls. Let's do it. everyone for watching our video hopefully soon I'll be able to make a video often because it's getting warmer outside so I'll be able to do something outside right now I'm wearing a thick uh, heavy sweater because it's I feel cold right now it's very windy outside so that makes it much colder and please subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and if you are already a subscriber thank you for watching our videos and please do follow us and make your own cinnamon rolls <laughs> it's totally so much better compared to the one in a can. The one that you get at the store in a can, it's it's loaded with preservatives and coloring. So if you make your own, there's the preservatives in there. And it's easy to make, except the rising time just takes, you know, a couple of hours. I think that's good enough for now. I have a little bit left here, just very teeny tiny left. And here it is. Thank you everyone for watching our video and take care everyone wherever you are and God bless. Bye.